Hey everyone, welcome back to Meadowbrook Ministry Moment. My name is Pastor Aaron and I'm the youth pastor here. I'm so glad you joined me once again today. Hey, I know as things continue to continue on with COVID-19, a lot of us have had a lot of opinions as to what needs to take place next. And I'm not here necessarily to create a debate or to have an argument with you, but I am here to, to remind us as a church, we are called to be united. Jesus himself when questioned about his power to, to heal those, uh, the, the Pharisees believed that he had somehow an in with the demonic, with the enemy, and that's how the demonic was leaving people. But Jesus very quickly responded back, a divided house cannot stand. And that is so true for us right now. A divided house in God's house cannot stand, cannot be blessed by him, cannot withstand uh, the mission he's called us to. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 even calls us to, to something more as well. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body, one Spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. Church, we're one body. Uh, and I know all of us have very different opinions, but let's be honest. We all have different opinions, not just about this, but so many other things. The thing that keeps us united, the thing that keeps calling us to being focused together is Jesus Christ. And I think it's so important as we move into the summer of not knowing what's going to happen and, and when things are maybe going to open up or when they're not, that we have to remind ourselves that we should first seek to love our Heavenly Father and represent Him well, and also love those around us, especially those in the house of God. And so I, uh, I, I just want to encourage you and challenge you, make every effort uh, to bring peace, to bring understanding, to be slow to speak and quick to listen. I think there's a lot to be learned about learning from one another during this season. And I think it's also important that we recognize that there are no winners and losers. There are no, you're right and I'm wrong. I think we have to have a mentality of saying, can, how can we elevate the name of Jesus? How can we elevate his name. You know, even in the book of Titus, Paul is encouraging a, a young leader as he leads his church, and they were having a lot of arguments about genealogies and things that Paul eventually just said were just worthless, not worth arguing about. He even went on to say, reject a divisive man, for he is sinful and he has brought shame upon himself. Church, can we call ourselves to something higher? Uh, and I encourage you, not just in our how we talk to one another in person, but even how we share uh, ourselves even online. I think it's so important that we continue to elevate the peace and the love of God and that we elevate uh, what He's about. Now, it doesn't mean that we're all going to uh, have the same conclusions, but it does mean that sometimes it's more important to put aside our differences and to be okay with not agreeing on certain things so that we can move together uh, in, in an effort to be called to the mission that God has called us to. I am not here to say I know what the future holds. No one does. But I am here to remind us that I, I pray my hope is that this will not get into the church and divide us, but it would strengthen us. Let's lean in to our Heavenly Father. Let's lean in to one another. Let's remind ourselves we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are the family of God and that we need each other. We need each and every person to be the body of Christ moving forward. So encourage you today, let's make every effort to keep the peace of God in His house. All right, blessings to you. If you have any prayer requests, please contact us here at the church. We'd be happy to, to pray with you and believe with you for greater things in your life. All right, have a great day. Thank you for tuning in for another Meadowbrook Ministry Moment. I'm so excited you took some time out of your day to invest in our community. If you could like or comment below, we'd love for you to participate with us. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to Meadowbrook Community Church. Have a great day.